Hey y'all, it's Melanie. Um, I really didn't feel like doing a video tonight, but I haven't done it for in forever. And even though a lot of people don't engage, um, I've noticed a ton of people are watching. So I, I wonder who they are. I'd like for some of them to reach out. But today I want to talk about empathy and compassion in the rescue world. And um, right now, I know I've triggered some people. I hate to, I hate that word, hate that term. But um, I'm the kind of person who, if I see something I don't like, now I never go after other rescues. One time I did, one time, and that I, that was justified. But uh, other rescuers, I don't critique how they do things. That we're all in this together. Now, I will be honest and say that I've kind of quit reaching out to some because I feel like there's just a little bit too much drama. And that's me. That, that's Asperger's. That's just my, you know, I can only do so much. And everybody's different. You know, we're all different in, in what our strengths and weaknesses are. My strength is my ability to work with animals, to sense their discomfort to kind of detect what their needs are and it comes down to empathy so um I've never had anyone attack me for being too empathetic before but but that happened today um first something I'm seeing all the time online are rescues horse rescues in particular, all of them literally melting down from the both the horse and the dog overpopulation crisis. Seeing beautiful horses get shipped to Mexico is unbearable. Seeing beautiful, healthy, adoptable dogs get put to sleep in mass when you've been following them and hoping they get adopted and knowing you no longer have space it is like torture and I, the good rescues and they're all good. Come on. They're all most, I've never seen a bad rescue, but we all suffer. We suffer. Um, if you invest this much time and money in it, you're, you have one motivation and that's empathy and we should all celebrate that. But I actually, at my age, I'm turning 47 in October, I should know to not poke the proverbial bear, I guess. But on my main Facebook account, I kind of called out um, a, a kill pen, self-described kill pen in Michigan, was posted a bell on a foal, four months old, that they admitted had what appeared to be a broken leg that was partially rehealed. The prognosis is not, I mean, they can't survive it. And then a, a half blind mare who was the mother, um, that kind of tells you the story. But anyways, I reposted it and I said, I, I can't bear this, something to that effect. Like it, it just upset me so bad. And somebody who works with the kill pen saw my post I'm like, why? I'm really surprised that they were even following me, I guess, and said that I was slandering them when I didn't even say, I just said, I can't deal with, you know, any rescuer is going to feel that way. So I ended up like talking with this person and they told me, I told them, you know, look at this from my point of view, how much money we invest in this, how much time, um, how when I see these animals in pain, I literally almost feel it. And it keeps me up at night. And she told me, why are you doing something? Uh, I've got this all in writing. She's like, well, this, why would you do something if it's causing you pain? And she strongly insinuated that I had a mental, a mental illness because I'm empathetic. So I don't know if it ties into like trying to be tough I am tough. I'm a very tough, like anyone who knows me will tell you I, I'm tough as nails, okay? 
Uh, I am not fearful of getting hurt. Um, I handle large animals all day long. I work with dogs that have problems. I have been mauled by dogs twice. And when I say mauled, multiple surgeries required. And here I am still doing this. So uh, I, I just have empathy. I love doing this. I'm actually a very happy person if you look at my normal profile. I have a great life. I have two well-adjusted kids. I have a wonderful marriage to just an incredible man. We have a nice house, our holy couch that I refuse to get rid of. Um, but let's normalize empathy. That's all I want to say. No, there's nothing demasculating or weak about being empathetic. I love y'all. Have a good night.